Okay, so here we are in the opening of Agamemnon, the beginning of the uh, trilogy, the Oresteia. And what I want to do is talk you through a little bit in this reading. This is probably the most difficult section of the play. And so I want to highlight a few things to uh, guide your reading here. So you'll notice the setting here, and it's the primary setting for most of the trilogy is the palace front at Argos. And certainly control of the palace is one of the most fundamental questions uh, and issues in the play. Uh, we have a watchman who is on top of the palace and he delivers the opening words. So you'll notice our opening words here then are delivered by a rather minor character, certainly not someone who's royalty. The very first word in the entire trilogy is the Greek word theoi, which is gods. Uh, and it certainly centers the, the gods as being uh, fundamental to the context of the overall human action. And he begins by really setting the mood in Argos. Remember, Agamemnon and his men have been gone for 10 years. So who's been left behind are those who were old uh, or young, unable to fight, um, women, children, and old men. So we see right away what the mood has been in Agamemnon's absence, because the watchman asks for the gods to release him from this misery, the year-long wait while he lies on the roof watching for the signs of Agamemnon's return. And we see here that the return is going to be, the signal of the return is going to be a gleam of fire um, that is going to report to them that Agamemnon is on his way and that Troy has fallen. We notice also that there's a reference to Clytemnestra as a woman whose whose heart and its hopes plans like a man. Notice already in the first mention of Clytemnestra, we see that she's referred to as being like a man. She's the one who's holding the throne in Agamemnon's absence. Um, and already there's a bit of a gender inversion there. And, um, and so keep an eye out for more references to Clytemnestra as being like a man. Okay? So... <clears throat> Towards the end uh, of this opening here, he says, I weep and lament for the house's misfortune. Um, it is not managed for the best as it was before. Again, that seems to be a reference to Clytemnestra as the new manager of the house. And he asks again for a happy release for misery when the fire in the dark has appeared with its good news. So again, reference to the fire in the dark as being good news. Now, Remember that the audience of this play already knows how this action is going to unfold. Um, but the characters, of course, don't. So that leaves these lines heavily charged with dramatic irony. Because we know he's going to take the fire in the dark as a symbol of good, a good sign, right? That it means Agamemnon returning home victorious. But we know that the return of Agamemnon is actually a sign that his death is imminent. Because as soon as he gets home... We know that Clytemnestra is going to slaughter him. So that is the opening 21 lines of, um, of the Watchman's speech.